Oke, selamat sore tamu-tamu Indonesia Dikes Expo, teman-teman semuanya yang sekarang lagi berada di Indonesia Dikes Expo. Saat ini this is very special moment for us because we have our special guest. Thank you. Direct from Hot Wheels USA, the brand that we love. Oh, thank yeah. you. Uh, kita akan ada sesi ngobrol-ngobrol saya dengan Brandon Nanti juga kita akan kasih kesempatan buat teman-teman untuk bertanya ke Brandon Karena selama ini mungkin kita hanya tahu produknya saja Tapi di dalam produk itu sendiri ada, ada latar belakang, ada cerita, ada orang yang buat Nah ini salah satu orang yang buat Hot Wheels uh, mainan yang kita sukai Oke okay. I think we can start with uh, just a chit chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a Hot Wheels designer, mm. must be a dream job for all the collectors. Yes. <laughs> so, what inspire you as a Hot Wheels design designer? What makes you become a Hot Wheels designer? It's, it's a like I said, it's a dream job for ours. It is a dream job, it really is. And I mean, we all, everybody who works there pretty much has their own story of how they got there. Uh, in my case, I mean, I've always been a passionate car guy ever since I could walk. Uh, I remember having Hot Wheels before I was even in kindergarten. And I've always would draw cars, watch the car TV shows in the 80s when I was growing up. Uh, I'd work on snowmobiles, cars, so I was always just you know, enthralled and passionate about them. And in college, I went to school for art and industrial design and studied transportation design. From that, you know, my love for hot rods and old cars kind of, you know, kept me drawing older things or things that weren't, like, say, minivans or, you know, cars that, of the future per se, but more what would be considered a collectible car, uh, you know, something that you would enjoy having in your, in your garage. Very nice. There's one thing that are very interesting that you said. You started like toys or diecast since you can walk. Yes. Do you still have your first toys since you can walk until now? I do not. I was a very destructive child with my toys. I would take them apart. I would see how they worked. As such, I learned about mechanisms and I could see how parts were molded and manufactured. But I do remember the first Hot Wheels ever. What is it? It was an orange large charge from probably 1977. It was from the black wall. And I remember having that car first. I remember having a Bruce Gremlin when I was in kindergarten. Oh. Uh, I remember having a Dixie Challenger like I was in first and second grade and then painting it with uh, my parents' old touch-up paint for their 71 Ford Pinto and turning the whole thing blue. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. As a Hot Wheels designer, again, we back to the Hot Wheels time right now. Uh, what kind of cars or project that you have done so far? Yep. What kind of project? And which one of the most you can proud of? Well, I'm I'm really proud of pretty much everything I've worked on. I put my best effort into it because why? You know, if you're not going to make it the best that you can, why bother doing it at all? So, you know. Any car that I work on, I try to put a lot of extra detail in there and just get it as accurate as possible. Nothing is done 50% for me. So I'm always pushing the engineers overseas. But one particular car that's extra special for me is uh, it was the custom 67 Firebird that came out in 2017 because that's a replica of my own car that I built in my own garage. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know that story, I had bought a 67 Firebird back in 2009 it apart in 2010, five and a half years later, I'm driving this one-off custom machine, and then two years later, I got to make a Hot Wheels with that. So, to, to go full circle, building a car, designing it, and then designing the Hot Wheels based on your own car, and seeing it in production, seeing it in kids' hands and collectors' you know, collections, I mean, that's pretty hard to top. Yeah, I can feel that. I saw your car, actually. Yeah. Yeah, jadi dia punya mobil RC Firebird Pontiac. Yes. 67? Yes. Yeah, Firebird Pontiac tahun 67, mobilnya dia sendiri dijadikan diecast. Dan itu benar-benar membuat dia senang banget bisa nunjukin kepada uh, ya pada penggemar Hot Wheels ya, dia bisa membuat mobil dari mobilnya dia sendiri. Wow. 
That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So what inspired you to make a design for Hot Wheels? I, I'm a passionate car guy. Uh, I have a lot of love for a lot of different vehicles and just to realize it in 164th scale or do something that's a little bit different that's never been done to it. I've always got ideas floating around in my head. Um, you know, come, I, every single day I've got like an idea of some other car. Oh, it'd be fun to do this or if I took this and tweaked it that way or let's make this into a hot rod or let's make this into something, something crazy. Ideas are always just bubbling in my head. That's just who I am. <coughs> Great. Okay, what is your biggest challenge when you're going to start a new design and then make into the production line and so that you can enjoy right now? What is the biggest challenge for you? To make I, us happy. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's like one biggest challenge, but we do have multiple challenges. And sometimes one can be worse than the other. Uh, for example, you know, we have a schedule, we have a cost, you know, there's realities of manufacturing. It's, it's one thing, like, a, as a customizer, if you make a one-off vehicle, you can make something as thin or as thick as possible to make it look right. But we have to have it survive drop tests. We have to have it survive child safety tests, uh, life tests, uh, any of those things. So, you know, th those realities can make like compromises in the design a little bit and you know we just we do the best with what we have and what we can work with and deliver the best product possible very nice so banyak banget tantangannya dalam membuat sebuah hot wheels mobil seperti yang kita lihat kayaknya simple ya mobilnya tapi itu banyak sekali tahapan-tahapan yang harus mereka jalanin sehingga layak untuk dimiliki oleh siapa saja bahkan anak kecil bahkan bahkan dia ada safety testnya juga sampai kayak gitu jadi emang ini bukan sebuah mainan sembarangan jadi memang ini sangat diperhatikan dari pihak Hot Wheels untuk memberikan sebuah produk yang benar-benar cocok untuk siapa saja dan nice yes well like I said become a humble designer is a, is a dream job is there any hints or clues that if Anybody here would love to become a hot wheels designer. You can tell us what kind of speed or tricks that you can do. The first thing I'm going to say is never give up. If you have a dream, a passion, anything that you really want in life, just never give up until you achieve it. I can tell you in my own personal case, I wanted to be a hot wheels designer back in 1994. In 2007, I got hired at Mattel as a track and play sets designer. Uh, it wasn't until three, two or three years later that I did my first Hot Wheels car, even though I was still on a different team. And then it was still 2016 before I became a full-time die-cast designer. So that was more, basically 20 years that it took me to get to where I wanted to be. And I didn't give up, and here I am. So never give up. So what's, what's the most important thing required to become a Hot Wheels designer? I mean, you have to go be, uh, be a good drawer or? Visual communication skills, drawing, is is critical. Uh, you know, we work with people all the time who just cannot envision what we what we envision. So we have to be able to communicate that with them. And the best way to do that is with a drawing. Uh, you know, whether it's a quick sketch on paper in Photoshop, however you know, however you work, but you just need to be able to visually communicate that idea. To drawing, still drawing. Yeah. Jadi paling penting adalah harus jago menggambar dan bisa mengkomunikasikannya melalui gambar itu sendiri. Sehingga gambar itu memiliki karakter dan bisa dijadikan sebuah uh, produk rupa mainan Hot Wheels. Well, it's a good clue. I think we have a lot of uh, talented drawer here. Yeah. We, we never know. That's true. We might be a designer from Indonesia in the future. That's right. We have a cool talent here a lot. Okay, sekarang waktunya kita membuka pertanyaan buat teman-teman audience untuk bisa langsung bertanya ke Brandon Fedeski. I of produce, yeah, that kind of target as a designer. Do you have that again? It, there is that kind of target. Uh, we work with our marketing partners and they come up with, uh, I guess in Mattel ter terms, like slots and rats and they determine how many new products they want to offer in a given year. So depending on 
the line, the price point, they'll come up with that, and then that's what we work towards. So it's based on what Mattel want to do, then you as a designer must follow the... If, if there's, say we do 14 new 164 scale monster trucks, then yes, I will work on developing 14 great new 164 scale monster trucks. Okay, yeah. Jadi tergantung arah direksinya dari Mattel, misalnya mau bikin 14 mobil tertentu, desainnya berarti dia harus kerja. Thank you. Next. Uh, ya, yeah, boleh. Do you like Nikoyo to innovate in every new design you're making? I try to bring innovation in wherever I can. Um, sometimes you know, we're, we're just we doing things that are just kind of having a balanced assortment, but uh, like with our Hot Wheels Redline Club, for example, if, if you're familiar with that product line that we sell through the internet, when I took over that line in 2018, we started seeing moving parts on all the vehicles. Uh, the Ford Raptor that we offered that year, we had a die-cast opening tailgate. I can't recall a 164 scale vehicle ever having a die-cast opening tailgate before, let alone a tailgate and an opening hood. And, or like the, the 240, the Fugu Z, you know, we had it in the main line of premium, but we redid it in RLC, and I made the hood opening forward with a sliding hinge so that we could still have the, the front end design that's correct for the car, but have a hood that actually opens for, correct for the car as well. So yeah, we always, I'm always looking to innovate. Uh, later this year in RLC, we've got a, a Chevy truck coming out with an adjustable suspension that we have a patent on. It's not very often the 164 scale diecast car gets a patent, and I've got one coming out for 2020 as well. So we do that there. Uh, have those monster trucks that I also work on. I've got some new uh, designs that will be coming out in 2020. We haven't shown them yet, so I can't divulge them now, but doing things to change the game and improve what monster trucks are for consumers. Oh, I saw that earlier, but it's an awesome time. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. We be guy. Where is the release of RWB RLC? Oh, we sold them out already. <laughs> wow, it's a tricky question. Okay. Because we, yeah, yeah, I, I find very difficult to choose who gonna ask the question. <laughs> How about we make something fun to decide? Who's gonna? Because I wanna show you what you're gonna get after you question. Ini akan kalian dapat, dan ini akan membuat kalian pasti bertanya banyak. Oh. Are we upping the stakes here for? Yeah, yeah. Because ini bukan gift kaleng-kaleng ya. Yeah. Yeah. Yang bertanya akan dapat posternya Brandon Petuski yang ditandatangani, oke? Okay. Tapi nggak langsung saya tunjuk loh, ini harus terlalu kompetisi. Anda akan dapat geser collector edition. Kayaknya banyak banget gitnya ya. Ini, kamu akan dapat ini. Oke, okay, this is the last chance ya. Yes. We have to make something something good to this answer. Uh, Chevy Bel Air Genser tahun 55. Desain pertamanya itu warna apa yang seperti apa? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, okay, take, try take one. You pick. I pick already two guys. Uh, any ladies know? Only the guys that know. We only have guy collectors here. <laughs> We're looking for a female, maybe. Just to give a chance. Anybody? Uh, we got one guy jumping, one guy that used two arms, one, two guys that used two arms. Uh, Alright, straight in the back. What's the answer? Do I have we have guys that know everything about Honda, we have guys that are about European racing, we have guys that are about Jeeps, we have, we also have girl Hot Wheels designers too, so it's not just guys, but I mean, everyone has their own contribution to offer, so we all can contribute something for everybody. Okay, jadi nggak ada beda-beda ya, sama aja. 
Well, I think we've come to the end for our session. Okay. And hopefully we can sit here again and talk with everybody. Sounds good. Let's okay. do it. Well, thank you, Mr. Brendan, for thank coming. Uh, enjoy the rest of the event. Terima kasih, teman-teman. Terima kasih, everyone.